Yo, Saga Manga, we're back. We're gonna do another collection tour. People like to watch these. Not too, too much has changed. I mean, I've got like maybe a hundred plus volumes since my last uh, collection video, but I also sold some things. So I changed a little bit. And I, if you watch my last video, I just uh, put risers in. So it, it should be a pretty good tour. Okay, we're gonna start over here. This is my bleach. I left it on the top. Uh, the 20th anniversary single volume one. And we have all of bleach, of course. Actually, the first manga I ever bought was Bleach Box Set 3 because I wanted to read the Thousand Year Blood War again. Here's the three novels that we have in English. Really need more of these novels because there's quite a few more novels that expand the world would love to read more of those burn the witch zombie powder uh these are the four bleach movies and these are the the two uh character books and here's the little bookmark i made love bleach and then we come to dimension w i have the the singles here and these are the two-in-one hardcovers that I rebound so I took uh, I got a new set of Dimension W because I found one to nine for like 25 or, no it was like 35 bucks on marketplace like dirt cheap so I decided to go with a full new set just in case I screw up which I didn't here's the hardcovers I made love Dimension W a lot and then continuing with uh, Yuji Iwahara we have King of Thorn another sci-fi from him really enjoyed this one too only six volumes complete and then we have cat paradise and chiki masaki which is his first work put out by cmx enjoyed both of these as well and then we have lone wolf and cub 1 to 28 the full set in the singles by dark horse i just got this in my last haul Go oh, check out that video. It's called Financially Unstable Manga Hall. A lot of really good stuff in that hall. So far, I'm, I've just finished volume three. I'm on four at the time of this recording. Enjoying it so far. It's pretty nice. It's kind of a uh, episodic. But also, they all have the old Dark Horse like chess piece logo, which is just way nicer, I think, than the current logo. And then we go down here to Golden Kamoi, number two favorite manga of all time. We have it complete. Finally, we are finished at 31 volumes. This manga has literally everything. Good adventure, good fights, gore, sad moments, cooking, hunting. Yeah, great manga. And we have Shaman Warrior, which I also got in my last haul video. This is a manhwa actually, reads left to right. I read this a very long time ago. Don't remember much about it, but very good fights and art. And we have Hell's Paradise, of course. I mean, great, uh, great manga. Season one was pretty decent. They kind of cut corners on some of the animation, but still really enjoy this manga. And then we have 20th Century Boys and 21st Century Boys, which I got in my last haul again. Haven't started this. I mean, I read two or three chapters online before I decided to buy it. So we'll get around to this eventually, but I want to, you know, I want to finish a couple of the series I'm on right now before I start that. Gangsta complete because the author's very poor health, so she is a... Uh, not putting out any chapters i don't know if she's still drawing or if it's just gonna be these eight volumes and that's it but really fun story i like that a lot and planets by same author as vinland saga enjoyed that one too then we move down to our blade of the immortal full set i'm on the last volume i have two more volumes in that volume in that omnibus I did not enjoy this as much as I thought I would. It's good. It's good art. 
story is like not the best in my opinion but uh i mean i still enjoyed it just not as much as i thought i was going to then we have witch hat atelier this is something i've had for so long and i'm only on the 10th volume i kind of read this only when i'm in the mood but such a good manga i love the art i love like the paneling and the world love everything Anisha D on the bus one finally came out. I got this like a, over a week ago, I think. Shit paper quality, in my opinion. Like, come on, man. I hope they give us like better paper quality on the rest of them. Maybe they have mass produced the first one, but I doubt it. We're going to get the same paper quality, which kind of sucks. At least they did some color pages in the front. Uh, Assassin's Creed Dynasty complete. Pretty good historical manga. And this is the walking cat zombie manga where you follow the cat. <laughs> it's alright. And here we have the Full Metal Alchemist set in Full Metal Editions. Except for number four. I'm just waiting on buying it. They did just reprint it because Indigo has it as ship out in uh, two, two weeks, two to three weeks. It'll ship out which means that it's been reprinted. So it's only a matter of time that I get that. I would like to get it at minimum 30% off. I got this whole set at like 40% off, almost all of them. So all you need is kill. I'll read this eventually. And we have Parasite 1 to 5. I think the next one comes out in a couple weeks actually. But I'm waiting to read Parasite in uh, full color. Once I get the full set, I'll actually read it again because I've read this online. So here's our first double stacked shelf. And we'll just go across the back actually. So we have Black Cat 1 to 20. Great Shonen. Out of print, I believe. Completely out of print. Uh, very fun. And then you have Toriko. Complete to 43. This world of Toriko gives me like Dragon Ball vibes and also the characters, how they just keep getting stronger and stronger. Although like Dragon Ball is obviously way better than Toriko, but still like definitely gives you the vibe of the Dragon Ball world. But this one's crazy. Like it's, it's way out there. And then we have Claymore. Complete 1 to 27. Just recently rebought this in my last haul. Enjoyed Claymore a lot. I'm pretty sure I didn't, like near the end, it kind of fell off a little bit. Still good ending, but. And then in front of those, we have Magi 1 to 37. I found this on Marketplace. The guy was just selling it. I got like pretty decent price considering the aftermarket price that it is right now. I'm currently on 16. So, you know, we're chunking away at it. Really enjoying the story, though, so far. Like, very good manga, dude. Then we got Promised Neverland. I've only read Volume 1 a long time ago. So, you know, maybe once I finish Moggy, I'll hop into this. Because I'm still trying to finish Toriko back there. And I'm also trying to finish Kakaishi, which we have the complete set. Dude, this manga is slept on so much. I don't hear anyone talk about it. I really don't see it in anyone's collection either. But what a great shonen, man. Just like a really good shonen. It's about the Kakaishi, which they trap the uh, spirits or the demons in uh, their barriers that they create. A lot of factions, a lot of good character development. Definitely check this out. You can read it on the apps. So I would check that out if I were you. And then we have Rurouni Kenshin, something that I just started reading again. This was uh, the second manga I ever read because I read Bleach first because I like Bleach anime so much. But started on the uh, this big one. I'm just kind of reading a chapter whenever I feel like it. I remember really enjoying that story though. Buy that second hand, by the way, if you can. And then we have Inuyasha, the complete in the omnibus. 
crazy how long this series is. That's 56 volumes if you're counting the singles. Uh, yeah, enjoyed it a lot actually. Like uh, Rumiko Takahashi, the way she draws like demons, really cool. And then we come to Vagabond, just finished volume three like two nights ago. Enjoying it a lot. The art is spectacular and the fight scenes are like actually easy to follow, which is something that kind of happens sometimes in the fighting manga. You sometimes can't follow the fight, uh, the scenes. So really enjoying Vagabond. I mean, I'm only technically nine volumes out of 37. So, and here's the goat berserk. You know, what can I say about berserk? It's just, uh, you know me, I like fantasy. I like swords. So, it was a no-brainer that this became my favorite manga. And then we also have the Vinland Saga Deluxe, Volume 1 that came out. Great. And then over here we have uh, Shuna's Journey, Doombreaker, Avatar Comics. Uh, this is called Night Eaters. It's another comic. And this is Once in Future comic in the Deluxe Edition. Really enjoyed that too. And then we'll move on to our middle shelves. Which we have Attack on Titan in the back. Dragon Eye, which I got in my Toronto manga shopping video. I also looked this up. So Del Rey never put out volume 9 of Dragon Eye. Because the author went on hiatus for like years. But he did. He or she, I actually don't know. The author came back and wrote Dragon Eye RT, which is just a continuation of this manga. Which we're probably never going to get. But if... A translation team would translate that would be awesome because he came back with dragon eye rt zero which contains chap like two chapters from the original dragon eye and then it continues for four more volumes so there actually is a completion to this story but i don't i can't read it unless i learn japanese or someone translates it black torch then we have sandland dragon ball dragon ball z the start of Dragon Ball Super. And then in front, this is another double stacked. We have Dragon Ball Super. Up to date. Black Clover. Up to date. I just finished volume 34, dude. That was such a good volume. Then Blue Exorcist. Also up to date. And then we have Ajin. Complete right there. Love Ajin. So we put Wolfsman here. It is complete though, at eight volumes. Great historical manga. And then we have the first One Piece box set, which is up to 23. Uh, I don't know when I'm gonna get around to reading this. We just have a lot to read. So considering this is like a hundred volumes long, I mean, we'll get to it sometime. Don't worry. Uh, Hunter Hunter, this is a Chimera Antarch. I believe the guy said when you're selling it got these for uh under five dollars each so we got those again don't know when i'm gonna start hunter hunter i'll have to get the first couple volumes before obviously jjk zero to 21 i've been reading it you know we, i just uh watched the anime and then i started up again really good Kaiju number eight, one to nine, super good. Like we're just have so long in between each release now. It's kind of, kind of sucks, but you know, I'm still keeping with a Kaiju for sure. I really enjoy that one. And here's Yashahime. I haven't read this one yet. It, it's like a continuation of um, Inuyasha. And then here's Now, which is Rumiko Takahashi's newest work. Very, very similar to Inuyasha. I'm only four or five volumes in. I have up to 13. And then we have our D Gray Man set. I'm still missing 25. <clears throat> I just got 11 because it, it just got reprinted. So now I'm only missing 25. I love D Gray Man so far. All the characters are really cool. The art's very good. <clears throat> and then we have Jack the Ripper. This is another manhwa. Reads left to right. 
uh, I don't know. I'm on this volume right here. It's, it's okay. Probably sell that eventually. Then we have our Demons of the Shadow Realm. Same author as Full Metal. One to three. I think four comes out in April. Looking forward to that. I don't like Square Enix. Every volume I've got of this so far has some kind of misprint. And I don't really like the trim size that much. But whatever. And then we have Tomahawk Angel. This is volume one. I think volume two also comes out in, in like a week, actually. It should come out March 26th. Really enjoyed volume one. Excited for volume two. I love the art in that. It's real nice. And then we go down to the last bit of manga. We have Dinosaur Sanctuary one to three. Waiting for that volume four comes up next month. Uh, Witch and the Beast one to ten. I didn't even know the uh, authors on hiatus, but I think I'm on volume eight or nine. Battle Royale, Angel's Border. I got this in a random manga lot that I bought for super cheap. I'll get around to reading it at some point, I believe. <laughs> then we got Black Lagoon 1 to 12. I almost finished volume one. Enjoying that so far. And we have Judge 1, 2, and 3. For some reason, these are backwards. Which also, I got in the same haul as this. I haven't started reading these yet, but we will read them eventually. So there is the collection. I don't know what volume count I'm at, and I honestly, I don't care anymore. <laughs> I'm not even going to count. It's probably like 850-ish. But I love the way the collection looks now. It looks sick. All right. Thanks for watching. You like the collection video subscribe i got some uh, different ideas that i'm going to be doing for like newer videos kind of just switching up i don't want to be doing hauls and stuff and collection videos like i gotta gotta make some different videos so see you in the next vid